Good morning guys, Automotive Inquires out here. We got the 7.3 Godzilla out the gym early and uh, had a question the other day in regards to the drive modes and, and uh, the person was saying that they're sorry if it was a silly question. No silly questions. That's what I'm here for, is try and put out content that helps everybody get to know this truck before you A, go out and buy it or if you already own it and you don't know this, it kind of helps you get through it. All right, so drive modes at the end of the selector here you have a little drive mode selector here. All right, so most people, in, in most vehicles, you push it once and it goes to your tow haul mode. And for the most part, that's the mode you get in most of your vehicles. So tow haul mode's gonna hold some shift points. It's gonna make those, uh, the revs a little bit higher when you're towing your trailer and everything like that. It's also gonna help with your uh, engine braking. All right, the next one's eco mode. So a lot of people ask me about eco mode. They're like, what is that on a pickup? Yeah, this truck's basically a hybrid. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, it basically speeds up the shifts and, and kind of de like de-throttles the truck itself a little bit so that way you can get a little bit better fuel economy. We go over here to Slippery. This is a mode that basically it's going to uh, uh, also control that throttle response. It's gonna lessen it and it's gonna basically allow that uh, the whole transmission rear and everything to kind of work a little bit better together uh, so you have a little bit less spin. Now in this mode, you do have your ability to pull your locker in at under 20 miles per hour. Once you get over 20, that little indicator right there is gonna disappear and then basically you're gonna to need to re-engage that switch again if you want to. Uh, it's a fail safe. You don't wanna be driving around town with that bad boy in. Now if it was locked in four wheel drive, you can turn that locker on as much as you'd like. <clears throat> Last mode right here is uh, deep snow and, and everything. Basically what that does is it says for preferred, preferred uh, uh, for better performance to go ahead and shift that into four wheel drive. But the main thing right here is it changes throttle response and then it turns off the traction control. You can see that little light down there. All right, now all of those nuances you can turn off in the truck yourself. So if we go back up here to normal, that's your normal mode. That's what everybody can drive in any time. And frankly, if you don't want to mess with it, let's get this bad boy on then you can just feel free to uh, drive in normal and engage your four-wheel drive under 55 mile an hour as much as you would like. And then like I said, just don't do it when you're spinning out. So if you're on snow and you've already started to spin out, uh, get off that, that throttle and, uh, and let the truck itself kind of slow down the spinning of those gears. It'll go in and you'll hear it kind of slap and bang and whatnot. Just not all that good for it. So I like to on snowy days like this, so it's not a lot of snow, but what happened, it was 50 degrees uh, the last two days. So it warmed up those streets, the asphalt and everything. So the snow that is falling is uh, made it nice and wet. And then it's getting down below freezing. Of course, it's uh, 14 degrees. So now um, basically we have some pretty slippery services. And like I told you in the four wheel drive video and other videos, uh, just about any pickup, just doesn't get around great without some weight. Now my F-150 did real well because I think this, the proportions of the truck, you know, the, the cab, it had the baby box on it. So the cab was kind of sitting in the middle of the truck. So it kind of proportioned that weight versus like one of these bigger trucks. Uh, most of the weight is forward and not a lot in the back end. So, you know, I don't have my hitch or anything in there, but a truck this big, even put my fifth wheel hitch in, isn't going to add that much weight. Um, but I like to tell people all the time, they, they want to know, well, how fast can I drive in four-wheel drive? Well, um, that's kind of a, an interesting topic because I see people lock it in four-wheel drive and then do 65. I'm not sure you need four-wheel drive if you can do 65 safely, but then there's also people that have four-wheel drive doing 65 and they're not doing it safely. So remember, it's not just you out here on the road, it's other people. So, you know, just because you might be able to stop or get around doesn't mean they can. So make sure you give everybody plenty of space. But I like to leave that four-wheel drive literally to the last possible fail-safe. Meaning I try and not use that at all. So that way, if this gets worse, I have all my traction control. I have four, four high, you know, I have slippery mode if you want to use it and everything like that. And uh, so, you know, that's that's how I would use it. But those are basically your drive modes. And I typically drive this truck in Eco. And, you know, like I said, other than remote starting stuff, my fuel economy is pretty good because all I literally do is pretty much drive in the city um, other than some road trips. But we do have some uh, uh, a weekend road trip this week. I'm trying to get out to where my fifth wheel at. 
Uh, it's supposed to be 50 degrees and I want to get that bad boy hooked up. We got the factory puck system in here and I just got my uh, spraying done yesterday, getting my tonneau ordered as soon as I can find something to get it to me by this weekend. Um, but guys, feel free to reach out and ask questions. Have faith. I will get back to you. It takes some time. I don't get notified every time there's a new message. So I go through my videos every day. And so it takes a little bit to get through them. But uh, if you have a question, serious question in any way, not one of these ones where, you know, you'd, I won't tell you my, my address and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, if you have a legitimate question, I will answer it. So just have faith and uh, be patient. And I appreciate all you guys watching and helping me get up there in my content. So we'll uh, see you on the next one, guys.